don't even know the last video I put up. I think we were fixing to get on the, the cruise ship. We went on the low carb cruise. If you don't know what that is, it's kind of confusing. I think a lot of people think it means a cruise ship that is full of low carb people. That is not, that is not what it is. A cruise ship that happens to have some low carb people on it, but it's just a normal cruise. So we were on a ship from Royal Caribbean's fleet called Allure of the Seas. It's one of the big ones. It's a beautiful ship. Um, so many things to do on the ship, amazing shows. Um, so the food on the ship is the same food that's on any cruise ship. It is not special made low carb food. Are there many options to eat low carb on there? Absolutely. Are there many options to not eat low carb on there? Absolutely. So if you're thinking about going on a low carb cruise, it's just a conference on the ship um, with many, many other people from many different walks of life eating many other diets, okay? Okay, so before I get into it, shout out to Element who is sponsoring today's video. They give me so much support on my channel and it's a pleasure to work with them because these babies helped me a lot on that cruise ship. Um, Beckett drank more of these than anybody else, I think. Every single morning we got up and we made data water, which is just electrolyte water for him. I took an entire Ziploc baggie. I'll show you, I'll pop up a picture of an entire Ziploc bag. It was packed full to the brim, as many as I could fit in there. And we we're probably about a fourth of the way through there. Um, but these came in handy to put in my alcoholic beverages. These came in handy just to rehydrate. It's hot in the Gulf of Mexico, ladies and gentlemen. Very hot. This is the watermelon flavor. Um, they're all amazing. All their flavors are great. Tons of sodium, 1,000 milligrams, which I absolutely love. Salt is good for you. I know. It's crazy. Not sweetened with sugar. Stevia. Magnesium and potassium as well. Just delicious electrolytes. So if you want to try Element, they give my viewers a free sample pack of eight different flavors to try. With any purchase, if you go to the link on the screen or in the description, make sure to check them out and stock up before your vacation. Thanks to Element for sponsoring today's video. S stuff everywhere because I have lost a piece of jewelry and I think it may still be on the cruise ship. I have submitted a claim. Who knows? Maybe someone found it and turned it in. Maybe someone found it and thought, huzzah, free jewelry. Um, either way, it's fine. It's it's. It was a little sentimental, but I'm gonna get over it. <laughs> so the cruise was a ton of fun. The kids had a blast. We went to the pool uh, every single day. They have a splash pad area for kids and they have a specific little area for babies. So Bonnie could just run around and not worry about the big kids bumping into her. And she had a blast and no one got sunburned. <laughs> I did take some sunscreen for Bonnie because she is so fair skinned and she is still a baby. Although her guys, Bonnie's gonna be a year old next month. This year has flown by. Anyways, I'll put a picture of the sunscreen that I use. It's just zinc oxide. That's it. It's in a little stick so I could easily rub it on her forehead, her nose, and her cheeks. And I got her one of those long sleeve little bathing suits so that she was fully protected. And um, Beckett is a little Butterball. He doesn't burn ever. He is so tan <laughs> right now. And he had a blast too. We rode a carousel. They have a carousel on the ship. It's huge. Um, food wise, the dining room food was fine. I feel like it's been better in the past. So this is our third low carb cruise. Our first one was back in 2018, I believe. And that was five years ago five years ago oh my goodness it seems like just yesterday um yeah five years ago so that was our first low carb cruise our second one i was pregnant with beckett and then this third one uh we were supposed to go when i was pregnant with bonnie but i'm nearly eight months pregnant with bonnie or seven months pregnant. i was past the like they won't let you on the ship once you're past a certain point in your pregnancy so i couldn't go um but we absolutely had a blast some really good speakers on the ship and made some really great memories met some new people if you met me and took a picture please make sure you tag me because i love seeing those um oh yeah my phone crashed and burned 
while we were on the cruise ship. So we had Wi-Fi, it was horrible on the cruise ship. When I got off the cruise ship, my phone just stopped working completely. I spent four hours in the Apple store trying to get it fixed. It ended up being an AT&T problem. So I spent two hours on the phone getting it fixed with AT&T. It's now working. We're fine. I didn't have to buy a new phone, thank God. We're back in San Antonio, spending time with my family. Um, if you're new here, my family, my dad's side of the family, my dad's Puerto Rican, and basically that whole side of my family either lives in San Antonio or Florida. So anytime we're in those areas, we come to visit. So instead of going straight home after the cruise, we came here and we're staying a few days. We're gonna do a few things with the kids here. Just wanted to kind of update you on the cruise. Uh, there are many people out there sharing low carb cruise videos and what they thought and they took a lot more content because they were able to be in the conference room on their phones, you know, and I was with the kids a lot of the time. So this was a much different experience than in years past because I didn't get to spend a lot of time in the conference room um, listening to the talks because my kids are loud. And if I had taken them down there, they would have distracted everybody and I didn't want to do that to the speakers that were on stage, at, you know, I just, and they didn't want to, the conference room is at the bottom of the boat, the very bottom of the boat. Um, and that wouldn't have been fun for them either. So we tried to spend as much time doing things with them and then going down later in the evening, Ken and I to pop in and say hi and hang out with everybody and then go to dinner. My favorite meal on the boat was at one of the specialty restaurants and it was called Chops and they had lamb chops. <laughs> they had rack of lamb and it was fantastic. Beef carpaccio and tuna tartare and that's pretty much what I had majority of the time was the beef carpaccio, shrimp cocktail I had several times, escargot I had several times, and I had steak one night but it was not, it was really really tough. I didn't like it but the lamb, the rack of lamb was fantastic. There's plenty of options on the cruise ship um, when it comes to meat selection. We even ate at the Windjammer on the days when we were at port because we didn't get off the boat, we stayed on the boat. And it was really empty a lot of the time so we didn't mind going to the Windjammer. And they had some really good options in there that they didn't have the last time that we were on the cruise. So there's plenty of meat. Um, I ate a lot of Caesar salad. I love Caesar salad and a lot of the seafood and things like that. But I did have some cheats, mostly with alcohol. I had champagne every night, pretty much. Um, I had a hurricane on the day that we got on the ship. It was so good. <laughs> yeah, so it was a really good time. I am so grateful to be able to go on these trips and see these wonderful speakers and hang out with you wonderful people. We love going to conferences. Unfortunately, I think in the next year, we're not gonna be able to go to as many uh, because of things that we have going on personally. And that's gonna be, you know, weird for us to not be able to go to all these different conferences. Uh, but we're going to be at, what's the next one? Orlando. If you aren't going to the Orlando Summit and you live in the Orlando area, y'all need to come we're gonna be there i love i used to live in orlando a long time ago a lifetime ago I lived in winter garden and um so i i love orlando it's one of my favorite cities i just feel at home there disney world obviously is there yes we're going i don't really want to but beckett really wants to we're not going for a bunch of days we're going just specifically for him. Um, honestly, I'm dreading it. And that's a big deal. If you've been on my channel for a long time, you realize like how much I have loved Disney in the past. Not so much now. And Disney in August is going to suck. But um, Beckett really, he wants to go and he knows exactly where Disney World is and he knows that we're going to Orlando. And if we don't go to Disney World, it's going to be a big deal. So I, we are going to Disney World. Again, I have family in the area, so we're gonna see family while we're down there. So we're gonna be in Orlando in August. Uh, there's an event in Dixon, Tennessee, also in August. I'll link all these events in the show notes if any of you guys wanna come, if you're in one of these areas. Um, and then September, we're going to Poland for a keto event, which is crazy. What's after that? 
Keto Palooza in Louisville, Kentucky. That is in uh, October. And then we're doing a retreat with Bronson and Coach Bronson and Rebecca from Taylor Keto Health. Two separate events, same area. Um, so Bronson and Natalie are doing a retreat for couples and then Rebecca's doing a retreat for just anybody. Both of them happen to be in the Smoky Mountains where Dollywood is, which I absolutely love. Dollywood now holds uh, where Disney World used to hold. We're Dollywood fans over here now. Season pass holders. So <laughs> we're going to the mountains in October. We're gonna spend some time up there enjoying all the things and we'll be working also. After that, I think we're done until January. I think we are going to Metabolic Health Summit and I, I am fairly certain that is the last thing we're going to until maybe next summer. And we still haven't um, decided what, if anything, we're gonna do next year. So, there you go. That's the roundup of the cruise and what we have left in the year. If you uh, wanna come to any of these events, like I said, I'll link the information down below so you can purchase tickets and if not always join us in the PhD community we're in there all the time and at some point maybe we will do another PhD summit but as of right now nothing is in the books but if you're in the community you will be the first to know all right guys that's it I don't know I guess I'll get back to vlogging now that my phone is working and yeah Hope you all have an amazing week. I'll see you in the next one. Love you, mean it.